gold emerald ring. So obviously you can. I can't wait to go into the mines and actually um, get like gold and stuff and mine it. Like I, I used to love doing that in World of Warcraft. So I don't, iron helmet. Don't want to steal anything because I get in trouble. Although there are no witnesses, so I shouldn't get in trouble, should I? Let's see. Let's save here. Quick save. Take iron boots. Iron gauntlets. Steel shield. Steel shield. Steel dagger. Too much weight, let's see. Um, drop, drop this, please. Or. Now we can equip our new apparel, which is. That's nice. Black Mage's robes. It's got a blue glow to it, so it's obviously enchanted. We've got here hide armor, hide shield, iron armor, iron boots, that's what we want to be wearing. Iron gauntlets. Iron shield, should we? No. Novice robes are also enchanted. Nice. Novice hood, where'd I get this stuff? Wow, it's worth quite a lot. I've quite a lot of nice stuff to sell. If I was a mage right now, I'd be friggin' pimped out. Sick. Silver necklace, does this do anything though? No. Steel shield, right. right. Let's go in here. Alvor and Sigrid's house. house. Hmm. Can I take this stuff? I need to make a meal, so we've got a cooking pot here. Cooking pots allow you to cook foods that restore your health or provide other temporary effects. Each recipe require specific culinary ingredients. That can be found throughout Skyrim. So right now we have leg of goat roast we can make. We can make, make pheasant roast. Roast, sorry. Rabbit hot, hotch, sorry. Salmon steak. Venison chop. Mm, I feel like some, I suppose we have plenty of salmon. So let's make some salmon. Um, fortunately I can't make any stews yet. I'm missing. What am I missing for the stew? Tomato soup, haha, <laughs> it's nice. Vegetable soup, venison stew, what am I missing? Leek, I need some leeks. I think there are some leeks around the back actually. Let's have a look. Are there any leeks here? No. Mm. Gotta go get some leeks to make some venison stew. I do feel I'm definitely in the mood for that after a very long day. Uh, it's getting late into the evening time. I'm really hungry right now, so I need a substantial meal. Let's see. Where were the leaks? A new face. Hello. The right ugly one at that. Ha. Huh. No offense. Talk for yourself. Speak for yourself. Cheeky bugger. Where's the leeks? There was a garden somewhere with uh, leeks growing in it. I can't remember where though. I think it was over here. Can you talk to the animals? Talk to the animals. Walk with the animals. Dr. Doodle. Dr. Does little. You can talk to the dog like. Hello. Who's a good boy? That is a very nice model of a dog. That's an Irish wolfhound, isn't it? Sort of similar. Similar breed. Leek. Got some leeks. Excellent. We'll need lots of those if we're going to make some more venison stew in the future. Take these potatoes also. I think we'll be eating a lot of stew. It's a hearty meal for the proper cold weather of Skyrim. Proper hearty meal is required. Take these lettuces also. Or cabbages. Lettuces. Can drop some in here. They do comment if you drop stuff here. Sometimes if it's close enough to them. Let's try dropping something in front of him. Just Got to see. Business here. Got business here? Nope. Just want to drop something in front of you and see what you do. Got plenty of these longbows. Let's drop them. There are worse huh, he didn't take any notice. Okay. Right, so... Let's go back to this house and make us some venison stew and have a kip. A few hours lit rest. A 
let's see. Use the cooking pot. Right, let's make cabbage potato soup. No, we need some meat. Some nice meat. Some pheasant. Some salmon stick. Venison stew. There we go. Restore 15 points of stamina. Restore 1 point of health per second for 720 seconds. Restore 1 point of stamina. So we're really hungry. We're going to need a big bowl of this. Let's see. Take a seat here at the dinner table. And enjoy our meal. Let's see. Food. Where are we? Have a drink of wine first to whet our appetite. Piece of bread. Honey nut treat, that's for afterwards. Um, where is it? Where's our venison stew? Venison stew, there we go. That was lovely. And now some... Where's that honey nut treat? Mmm, lovely. That was delicious. A hearty meal. And now, let's talk to this guy. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Do you have any supplies I could take? Of course. Take what you need. Excellent, my good man. Belted tunic, bread, carrot, cheese, gold necklace, nice. Iron ingot. Egg ingot. We can use that for <gasps> making some things. Minor healing potion, silver ring. I'm just gonna take everything off you, my good man. Very nice, thank you very much. There's something you could do for me. For all of us here. Okay, it's just the yard needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Just go ahead. Move the wood is defenseless. Alrighty. Anything for you, my man. You give me a lot of good stuff there. Thank you. Can I use your forge? I see no harm in it. If Sweet. you have the skill. The grindstone mm. will improve your weapons. Nice. The table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. He's pretty well built, also. Extremely well built. Um. Any more supplies? Like I said. Be cheeky. I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need, within reason. Uh, I've already taken everything. How do I get the white run from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When keep you going get up. to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Okay. What can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl, Jarl Valgraf. He rules White Run Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So okay. far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. What side is, does he favor? And the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Ellison much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Uh, what's your... S you support the Empire, then? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. Hmm. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Join the Imperial Legion? Um, what do you think about the war? I've already asked this. rightly stirred up about the damn Dalmor being allowed to roam around arresting people. Just for worshipping Dalos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart? And maybe destroying the Empire? No. no. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. That's one thing I noticed. There's no cutscenes in this. It's just like all done within the game. Which is kind of weird. There was no cutscene in the beginning. Hmm. I think I missed that a little bit. But who's else? Elisif? Ah. I forget you're new to Skyrim. Yes. Jarl Elisif, I should say. That's supposed to be Although a... only because she was married to Jarl Torig. Local? He was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. What right I guess I've been living outside Skyrim. And killed him. Shouted him to death. If you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. 
Okay. So we gotta unite together. So that's what I that's my rule I think. Um why are Thalamore Thalmor are allowed to arrest people for worshipping Talos? It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Thalmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine for Talos. There's a Talos Plaza and district in the Imperial Wolf City in Oblivion. His sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. Sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down. Dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Yeah. Can you tell me anything about this uh, town, Riverwood? Gerda's family first settled here as woodcutters. Woodcutters, Three generations yeah. Ago. A lot of wood used here. Hard run as you can see. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Nice, so that's all we need to know. Now I, I need some sleep, some rest. Well, I better get some. Take what you need, my friend. Whoops, well, I better get what? Like Sorry. I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Yep. Help yourself to whatever you need. Hello. Did you really see a dragon? Yeah, I did. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. But you seem alright. Yeah. My father is Alvor, the blacksmith. I'm his assistant. I'm okay. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Yeah. Listen, I'm going to lay up here for a while. Yeah, me too. You can make your own way to solitude from here. I'd recommend heading to White Run. Just down the road. That's nice. It gives you the freedom now. That's cool. I'm just gonna take this money here. Don't mind me. He's eating some bread. What the rebels like to forget is that the Empire is what's keeping the Dominion out of Skyrim. Keep your guard up. Yes, you too. I'll take this book, A Gentleman's Guide to Whiterun. Welcome, good sir, to the end this indispensable guide. Within these pages, I, your humble author and guide. We'll describe to you the great city of Whiterun, the Jewel of the North. Whiterun offers numerous divisions for a man in search of adventure, fortune and companionship, whether for a night or for a lifetime. The city is graced with not one but two worthy taverns, and there are maids and wenches aplenty. Sounds good to me. The city is located rather centrally in Skyrim, and this is well, for it is not far from anywhere. Perched high upon a rocky hill, Whiterun dominates the grassy plains that surround it. High wooden walls protect its Denzians from the wolves, mammoths, bandits and other dangers. Lurking beyond. When you first enter through the city's main gate, you will find yourself in the Plains District. This is so named because it is the lowest of the city. Lowest of the city's three neighbourhoods? Cool. Ah, but here can be found the Band Mirror, which I count among the finest taverns in all of Skyrim. The scenery within is quite compelling, if you have an eye for the fairer sex. So it's like a whorehouse. A stout last named Hilda tends to the bar. Don't let that stony Nord exterior fool you, for she is possessed of that same fiery passion that all Nord women try so hard to conceal. Nice. Sadia the barmaid is an exotic red guard beauty. She is quite mysterious, and your humble author is determined to learn her secrets. I'm sure you are. So that's just detailing the different locations. The disturbing, disturbing, oh, yeah. The discerning gentleman in the Grand City of Whiterun. So that's all the pleasures you can partake in. The discerning gentleman. Ah, but I will not lie and say that it was all a hardship. After all, who could want to sleep alone in such a cold and harsh land as this? Not I. Sure. True that. So we got plenty of wine, women, and good times, apparently. We can take everything from this house. It's pretty nice. Yeah, well that was pretty nice of them, allowing me to take everything. And I shall not be a disgruntled guest or I shall be the best suppliant possible by taking everything. Let's take everything possible. So we've got iron sword, don't want that iron gauntlets. Could actually take steel. I thought I was allowed to take whatever I wanted. Troll fat, why not? Forge my own sword. Huh, sounds good to me. Got some more gold. Kai hide, might as well take 